BP PLC, today is the 3rd of February 2020. Um, the results were out yesterday, which weren't particularly good, and that uh, um, reflects in the price of the shares falling slightly. Um, as you can see from a weak graph here, they're down from 283. Um, bottoming, bottoming out at 254. Um, the movement today, um, they opened at about 254 and they went right down to 251.9. And at this point, my stop loss cut in and my shares were automatically sold. And when you um, make the sale, I took a loss of about £75 on the £500 investment. Um, on hindsight, I don't think I should have um, put the stop loss in because I think um, BP is going in the right direction. Um, you might get a few blips at the moment and unfortunately I had put my stop loss in place and the shares were sold and I've taken a loss of £75. Um, the saying is you don't take your loss until you make the sale and I wish I hadn't um, put the stop loss in but that is what happened. Um, so um, now I've got the quandary, do I go back into BP or do I look somewhere else, look for somewhere else to put my money? Um, but I think what I might do is put my money back into BP and just sit tight and wait for them to grow. Or I may find another stock. So the moral of this story is um, stop losses do work, but um, be careful. Um, they're not foolproof. Uh, as I say, the market it was quite volatile at the moment and I've still got a great deal of confidence in BP. So I took a £75 loss when it wasn't really necessary. I hope you found this video interesting um, and sharing some of my um, misfortune with you. But I bid you um, a real successful um, in investing adventure. Um, you've, you've got to uh, um, approach um, all your investments and trading with the correct psychology. So it's time to move on to the next trade. Till next time, I bid you a real happy, successful trading adventure.